Hello and welcome to Zamora Gaming. I am your host, Joe Zamora, and we are here for Pokey Dippies. And obviously, you know me. I'm introducing myself. I am Joe Zamora. I have YouTube. I stream on Facebook under Zamora Gaming. Zamora Gaming, everything. It's just that's all you need to know. Now to introduce Morgan. Hey, I'm Morgan, and I am a little fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That was so, a good uh, introduction. Emphasis yeah, that was a <laughs> that was a good introduction. That was a good introduction. So everyone knows Carry what on. they're expecting. Yeah, everybody knows. Everybody knows what's coming. Everybody knows. Carry on. They already know. <laughs> well, you're, not, you're not gonna promote your shit. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you can find me on. Uh, M O R G A N O H K O. There you go. That's it. That's my handle on everything. All right. Now we go on. His to YouTube, Stewart. his Tinder, everything. It's just that. Look it up. Tinder. Did you? I don't have a Tinder. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get a, get a hold of yourself. Granger for the ones who get it done. All right, Stuart, get, get a hold of yourself. Me? Yes, sir. Me. G'day. I'm Stuart. Um, I've been a couple of podcasts now. Um, I'm the one from down under New Zealand. Uh, yeah, nice warm summer's day here. I don't know about you guys, but basking in the heat. Um, I don't stream or anything, so if you want to look me up, it's SJMills101 on Twitter. It's probably the best way to do it if you're not part of PML, which you should be, obviously. Well, I'm uh, in Texas. I got a nice warm winter. <laughs> Man, we don't pr we don't promote PML enough on here. Definitely come join us. Oh, yeah. it's, it's a it's a good time. It's the group of draft league. It's where you can talk to us all the time. And now we move on to David. What's up, everybody? I am David. And now. <laughs> no, <I'm still laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. These intros are sick this time. Yes. <laughs> Uh, you can find me on YouTube, GS Kamikaze, and Twitch, and Facebook under David Alanese. You can PML, come, come battle me in the draft leagues and shit. I host the tournaments every Sunday. Let's go. Let's go. And last, Let's go. And definitely least, Jesse. Uh, my name's Jesse. Jesse. Uh, I usually go by J-Dog whenever I play Pokemon. I'm just here to give you guys some sweet announcing on our battles tonight among other things. I don't do anything special. I occasionally battle. I'm just here for the fun and giggles. Alright, and giggles. now with the introductions out of the way, we're going to go ahead and start with our Gengar Pokefax. Oh, we're talking about Gengar. I, I, don't, I don't, don't have anything to talk about. I wasn't prepared. No one was. Can voice have a Pokemon? Dude, David's got it. David's got facts for you. Oh, you want to know a fact? Gengar could pleasure your mom from across the room. Damn, Explain. long tongue though. Oh my god. Good lord. <laughs> Have you seen that? Did you see that sleeping bag? Explain. <laughs> somebody, Gengar somebody, actually, call, I'm calling the police. Gengar, shut the fuck up. Gengar actually <laughs> appeared in Capsule Monsters before it turned into Pokemon. It was one of the first oh. original shit. Oh. oh. The base That's manga that evolved into Pokemon. That's why I got the Gengar. honor of being in the in the uh, entrance of Pokemon Red and Blue. Yes, it is. Versus yeah, you see it with Nidorino or Nidoran. No, no, it's Nidorino. Because they were both from, they were both from yeah. Capital Monster. I've got a list of Gengar facts here, and the fifth one is if you're on the naughty list, it will visit you. I think that was <laughs> I think that was important to note. I think one of the rumors I like about it is a lot of people like to think that it's the uh, it's Clefable's shadow. Have you guys heard oh, about, that about that one? Yeah, we sorry. just talked about that. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. Elaborate on that one. Somebody elaborate on that. It was just uh, because the shape of it is similar to Clefable. People say it's the shadow. It's its evil self. And I agree with Same you. body shape. Hmm. And in ninth grade, I had a wallpaper of Gengar eating a Pikachu. 
Nice. That's a solid wallpaper. Ken Sugimori, the illustrator of Pokemon, the original, is to this day it's still his favorite Pokemon. That was some yoga. That was some Yoda ass talking you just did. Yeah, <laughs> I told you I'm a little, a little fucked up. He's trying to read the paper, but it won't stay still. Yeah, it's a, it's because the paper's a computer. In Tennessee, you read it from right to left. Hey, dude, we make the same. We make the same jokes about your dumb asses in Texas, so it's okay, Joe. <laughs> Morgan's you're over here. Like, you're already this backer is so street. strong. <laughs> we have we have a booming economy here because we completely ignore COVID. So eat ash. <laughs> hey, you think we do? I know your economy shit. But we ignore COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you didn't want to get political. Oh, well, I, damn, you're right. I'm drunk. I'm sorry. It just pours out of me when I'm drunk. Dude, you know who can get COVID? Gengar can't. But it can Gengar get cannot. He can't get poisoned. He can't get poisoned. Because he is a poison type. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Did you know that Gengar is the only evolution line of Ghost in Gen 1? That I did know that. that. And did you also know Sal Salazzo can poison that motherfucker. Well, fuck That's Salazzo, right. We're not talking about that bitch. I'm just saying, <laughs> it could still be. It could technically still be poison. In, in, in special circumstances. Only one. <laughs> <laughs> Has corrosion as the ability carries the move toxic. That's it. Well, you know. Um, That's right. That's what it was. Something about Gengar happens. Yeah, Gengar is one of my favorite fucking Pokemon that I've ever, like, I've had it since Red version. I used to, uh, like, you know how you can trade up Pokemon from the originals to the next version? No. Yeah. I, I yeah. had, I got Gengar all the way to X and Y, and then I had to sell that game, because I was broke as fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's always sad. sad. Lost my Gengar. Yeah. You've had a sad life, David, and I'm sorry. I'll adopt you. I can adopt you if you'd like. If everyone listening to this can just give David a dollar so he can buy that X and Y back. One dollar yeah. is all he needs. It's still sitting in the window of GameStop right now. <laughs> one like equals one hopes. prayer. He goes every week, just like a taken away child, just to see it hopefully smile back at him. But it never does. Okay, so, so it's turned into Amnesty International now. Is that right? You're doing Yes. Yeah, stopping kids in yes. Africa, is that what it's all about? Okay. Yes, and pennies a day will help David forget his what traumatic life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about? I think we're talking about, Dude. are we talking about Charizard? <laughs> these, these Gengar facts... I see. I know exactly where you were looking, David, and these are trash facts, my man. They are, dude. I only got like a good seven out of them. These yeah, there's no good ones. Are ghost. I think we followed them all. He's it's got one of the. the, 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 the uh, Gengar got a uh, G Max and a Mega Evolution. It's one of the few that actually made that that leap into Sword and Shield. I know one that did. Chow is a. Uh, <laughs> Jesse didn't even get to talk about Charizard. You have to let him get a couple things off his chest. Gengar's teeth look like piano keys. That was a very interesting fact, yes. Most people don't <laughs> you, know this. You, you know that if it licks you, it would actually paralyze you? Like, yeah. it did that in the anime in the original season when they fucking are fighting, uh, what's her name? The psychic leader. And, yeah. and when Ghost... Or when when he wasn't even a psychic or a poison type. Yet. Oh what? Hunter is poison. Gengar used to not. Yeah, be poison. they're all they're to... all poison. They're all poison ghosts. The whole line of them. Yeah. But in red and blue, they were just ghost type. Gengar actually was one of the toughest people in uh, red and blue because it had a top ten speed and a top ten special. In fact, yeah, it's dude, special. It's Only two forward. people that were higher than it was Alakazam and you two. Ooh. I'm telling you. Oh, was it really Ghost and Poison in Red and Blue? Yes, yeah. Yeah. 
Then yeah, why do like, people do they use a lot of people? Like, but why do they a lot use of people to be fucking uh, the psychic leader though? Because um, ghost yeah, types are that's what, the, that's what the anime told you to do. But... Was there anything that could beat Alakazam really? But it's slower than Alakazam, isn't it? Yes. That's why you have a higher lever, yep. Butthead. <laughs> a lever? <laughs> Pull the Dude, lever, bro. He's drinking, he just doesn't want to tell us he's an alcoholic. Alright. All right. Yeah, he probably is. Does anybody have any favorite Gengar <laughs> anime battles? That was a good question last time. Oh, shit. Well, uh, Gengar made a lot of... Uh, I actually have a page. It's made a lot of appearances in the anime. It, of course, made it in this... Actually made it in the one where he goes to the uh, tower to try to get Haunter. Um, Ash also faced uh, Agatha's Gengar <laughs> once. And, and it of course, beat the shit. Oh yeah, it killed. It beat the shit out of it. And also, uh, it's been uh, in the newer anime too as one of Ash's newer Pokemon. So it's also oh, made no, it an appearance then and also was uh, in the Johto series as Morty's so he was also in there too. So yeah, one of my favorite battles with uh, Gengar was uh, Ash's knocked out versus Morty. Do y'all remember that? I honestly don't. No, he, you don't remember uh, Ash's shiny knocked out? Yeah, I remember it. I remember the battle somewhat, but I just don't remember much of Gengar. I think that's one of the few battles where Ash actually used his brain and planned out a battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he no did. Shit. He did. <laughs> like in the first two, like. In Kanto and Johto, he didn't really plan, and then from then on out, he actually had a little bit more strategy. So that was one of the battles, because Johto was a little bit more strategy planned. There was still bullshit in it, but it was more battle-based than compared to Johto, where, oh, hey, you got my gloom out of the burning fire. Here, have a badge. <laughs> or, or he's like, hey, Pikachu, set off the fucking sprinklers and soak this... Onyx, so we can beat it with electric. You, you made my daughter Sabrina laugh. Here's the Marsh badge. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> you made my daughter Sabrina laugh. Is that what you just said? You beat yeah, Team that's Rocket. what happened. You always... Auntie made her <laughs> laugh. Is... <laughs> you beat Team Rocket like you always do. Here's the Cerulean badge. <laughs> yeah. Has anybody been watching the new anime? No. I have been. I haven't caught Ash... up on it though. Ash has just... He has a Gengar in the anime. I don't know if y'all know that. His team's pretty fucking stacked, actually, this season. Uh, yeah. But his Gengar is actually good. super cool. It's got a lot of personality. And his team still... He still sucks as a trainer. No, he doesn't suck right now. They're actually doing him justice. I think the new anime has been really good. Yeah, I think it is too, dude. Yo, oh, you know what my favorite Gengar um, appearance in the anime was? Is when he was like the, the boogeyman in Gen 7. You know what I'm talking uh, about? He's yeah, cold. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I forget what they called him. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. I honestly don't know. I don't you're talking about what, from X and Y, right? No, from Gen Seven, like Sun and Moon. Oh, Sun and Moon. Hold on. He stole the Dark Crystal from uh, Jesse and James. The Greedy the, Rapu. Oh, I remember that. He was a totem. Was it a totem? A Gengar? Yeah. No, it wasn't a totem Gengar. It was just uh, a Gengar that, I guess, liked that one girl who was the ghost trainer. Oh, so, uh, Acerola, I think, yeah. or something like that. I don't know how to say it. Oh, Acerola. Motorola. <laughs> Motorola. All, All right, well. Anyone else Did you have any things they want to say about this Gengar? I think Gengar was always strong, um, especially even in the early games, just because it had a great uh, combination of speed and special. And especially when items became a thing, Focus Sash was a good combination with it. I think it lost a little bit when it lost uh, the ability to levitate because that got rid of one of its weaknesses, and now it has Cursed Body, which is still okay, but it's not quite as good as levitate for something like that. Yeah, that was a really good switch in for Earthquake and shit. When did they? When did it get that ability? Gen uh, I, yeah, I was about to say. I think I'm pretty sure it was Gen Seven. It was yeah, Gen Seven. Right when I joined the competitive community. Mm -hmm. Now, what was its mega ability? Wasn't its mega ability Shadow Attack? It is. 
It is. Yeah, yeah and everyone it. loves that, so. I love it quite a bit. I, I can't wait to eat this fruit. fucking set I got. Straight Except Smogon fans. <laughs> yeah, Smogon's for bitches. Smogon don't <laughs> like Shadow Tag. Okay, I guess I'll leave then. <laughs> oh, right. so Are y'all guys ready for battles then? Let's Super do it. Ready. Let's fucking go. All right. Thanks for those fun facts, guys. Now we're gonna talk about our teams. Uh, who wants to go first? Morgan. Morgan, go first. Let Morgan go first. Right. He wants to go first. Morgan wants to go first. <laughs> okay. Um, dude, I I had no rhyme or reason. To- rhyme or reason to my team, but I did Poison Puss the Gengar. Uh, he's a Mega Gengar with Gengarite. Um, I made my team quick, so I had a lot of just fast uh, hitters. I went pretty much total offense, and then I've got Vaporeon to soak up hits. Uh, Terrakion's kind of thick, too. Uh, but like I said, I have my first member of my team is Mega Gengar the Poison Puss. <laughs> Dazzling Gleam Taunt Shadow Ball Sludge, or Sludge Bomb. I uh, went 252 special attack, 252 speed, and four special defense. Uh, the next member of my team was Dick and Chicken, uh, the Blaziken. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, life yeah. orb. The big pop pop. Yeah. Life orb. Uh, flare blitz, high jump kick, stone edge, protect. I uh, went 252 attack, 252 speed, four special defense. Uh, he's just meant to get out there and hit really hard and go as fast as he can with that speed boost. Uh, Vaporeon is the third member of my team, uh, nicknamed WAP. Uh, item was leftovers, ability is water absorbed. Uh, it can take a pounding. That WAP can take a pounding. It's got Wish, Scald, Protect, and Hillbell. Uh, it's just meant to really the only thing on my team that can really just absorb hits. Um, Garchomp, the you got some smack, and that means crack. Uh, but uh, but I don't smoke crack. Garchomp does. Uh, the, item, the item is Lumbay. Ability is Rough Skin. Uh, I went with Swords Dance, Earthquake, Outrage, Fire Blast. Again, 252 on the speed, 252 attack. And uh, four on the special attack. I don't know why I did that. I believe that was a uh, fucking accident. So let's, I don't think that I wanted to do that. <laughs> um, next member of my team is Phil and Froggy the Greninja because um, you know like Phil and Froggy do you want to get your ass beat okay you don't uh, have to explain everything <laughs> I'm going to explain my nicknames dude I got 7 minutes you let me have my 7 minutes focus <laughs> sash ability is protein dark I'll pulse donate, on, my surf Dark Pulse, Surf, Grass Knot, Ice Beam, fuck you, Jesse, 252 <laughs> Special Attack, 252 Speed, 4 Special Defense, and then the sixth member of my team is It's a Biggin, the Terrakian, as in its dick is big, as well as its cattle-like body, fuck you, Jesse, <laughs> Choice Scarf, I went Justified Ability, Swords Dance, Stone Edge, Close Combat, and Stealth Rocks. I went 252 attack again and 252 on the speed, four on the special defense. So, uh, yeah, that's my team. It's not it's not very good, but it's what I brought, and the nicknames are what matters. C- so, C- fuck you, have a nice day. C- Stewart, yeah. choice stealth rocks isn't too uncommon here in PML. No, no, fair enough. I don't feel like Morgan's going to have a Pokemon nickname next week that says, fuck you, Jesse. Maybe, you know what? Definitely happening. Yeah. Definitely happening. I'm going to name... I'm gonna, that's what I was going to say. I'm going to name my yeah. Arcanine. Fuck you, Jesse. I have seven <laughs> minutes. I have seven <laughs> minutes. Oh, six Pokemon right. are going to be called the same thing. Yeah, fuck you, Jesse. Fuck you, Jesse. I have seven minutes. <laughs> yeah. 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 And Thanks. He's, and he's going to use them in that order. I eat hella ass, Jesse. I eat hella ass. If you if you aren't eating ass in 2021, then you're a child. Let That's that be known. Right. Let that be known, right. audience. Let that be known. All right, my seven minutes is up. Carry on, bitches. Hey, my team is disgusting, and I love it. So, did a good job of winning that last battle. Huh? I said I did a good job winning that last battle. That's that hasn't right. happened yet. We, right, we haven't did. talked about that yet. We haven't talked about that. That hasn't happened yet. We're... Come on, guy. Come on. You're not even drinking. I from last last time against me. 
from earlier. Wow. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Right, you know, we do so the God damn after it. this. I got Tyranitar, aka Cars Got Bars, with the Smooth Rock and Sandstream, and you know, it's it's full HP, a little bit of defense, just so I can get the Stealth Rocks off. And then it's got Ice Punch, Rock Slide, and Crunch just in case. You got to get that double stab. And stab me, same type of tag boost in case you were wondering. And then we got Cartana, with, which is named Paper Cut. Paper Cut! With the Steelium Z, Beast Boost, Smart Strike, Leaf Blades, Sacred Sword, and Night Slash. This thing just is going to hit everything hard as fuck. And... I probably will hopefully not ever get to use it because I won't have to use it. You know what I'm saying? And then we got Gengar, the Mega Gengar. I didn't make it shiny up for some reason. What's its nickname? Its nickname is LMFAO, as in that dance you can do. I forget what it's called. (laughs) (laughs) It's a shuffle. Every day of shuffle. I'm going to fuck my ass off because I'm going to perish on you and you're going to die without being able to do anything. I got Shadow Tag. Which locks you in against me. Protect, substitute, disable, and perish song with full speed, full defense, or full HP. Just so I can live a couple hits, get off some substitutes, and make everything die. It's fucking hilarious. Do you kiss your mama with that Gengar set? Like, I do. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting. I love it. Then I got Ndidi, aka formerly known as Indubitably, with a choice scarf, rocking expanding force. Dazzling Gleam, Energy Ball, and Mystical Fire. Just because I knew that Ferrothorn is going to be an issue for my team. So I figured in the future I should probably plan for it a little bit. So I made it full speed and special attack with Modest Nature. Then I got my Hawlucha with a Psychic Seed, Psychic Seed because of the Psychic Surge from Indubitably. Nickname. Mm-hmm. RKO because it's going to fuck everything up super fast and it's got swords dance, acrobatics drain punch, fire punch with full attack and a bunch of HP it just goes in after Ndidi or aka indubitably (laughs) (laughs) I have seven minutes Joe Uh, and fuck you Joe I got seven minutes (laughs) <laughs> and gets off at least one swords dance to just start fucking everything up. That might come back to bite me if I get greedy, but we'll ne- we'll see in the future. Then I got Draco Die, aka Dracovish, which has Stand Rush, <laughs> Stand Rush to go along with Tar has got bars because it's gonna hit everything super fucking fast because that's this whole team is gonna hit you really fast. Got Choice Band with Ficious Wren, Psychic Psychic Fangs, Earthquake, and Crunch because I'm going to make sure everything dies. It does a pretty good job of that. That is my team. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go next. Um, I have a pretty decent team that I slapped together, um, mostly because I like the nicknames as well. Uh, I have Gengar, nicknamed Purple Nurple. Uh, Cursed Body Gengar, right? Uh, max Special Attack, Max Speed, and a little bit of investment in Special Defense, because why not? It has Sludge Wave, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, Dazzling Gleam, you know, just all out attacking. It's, it's, it's gonna wreck, just trust me. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> and next, we have uh, Pink Thing, Chansey, with Eevee Light, Natural Cure, just in case, you know, someone tries to talk to you. I could switch it out, switch it back in. And I mainly brought it because uh, normally uh, Gengar is a special attacker, so I wanted a special wall. It is a 252 HP, 252 special defense with soft foil, toxic, stealth rock, and seismic toss. Then next, we have Roly Trollioli, our Grim Snarl. Uh, it's supposed to be a bulky attacker, physical, with Lumberry, a uh, prankster. Just in case you know someone tries to get a will o wisp off or something. Then uh, Sucker Punch for priority because we're slow. Bulk up, of course, to get our attack and defenses up. Play rough, false surrender. And it's 252 HP, 252 attack, and 4 defense. 
Who knows? It might live a plus two attack from Halucha. Um, <laughs> then next, I have Who Framed Me, uh, Cinderace, because Who Framed Roger Rabbit, with the Life Orb liberal. Joe, you don't have to explain every nickname. Yeah, God, yes, he does. <laughs> Come on, he has seven minutes, you some, piece of antagonizing shit. He has <laughs> seven minutes. Some people weren't born Whoa. in the 90s, so they might not understand all my nicknames, okay? Okay. You tell it. You tell your truth, Joe. <gasps> Whoa. Sounds like he's a little fuck. I have uh, 252 attack, 252 speed, 4 defense, because most... Most people who try to take out Cinderace are physical, so you know. And then I have a Sucker Punch for a Speedy Gengar, Bounce for fun, a Pyro Ball because he's a soccer player, and then High Jump Kick because look at them legs, boy. All right, and then next, <laughs> I have, I have Reuniclus, nicknamed Powerhouse because the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell and it looks like a mitochondria. And you got it, such a nerd joke. Oh, you know what? That's a smart nickname. I didn't even think about that. It's not because that thing can be a beast when you let it get uh, unleashed. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I, I had a nerdy reasoning behind it. Um, And then uh, it was Leftovers Regenerator, 252 HP, 252 Special Attack. I had Trick Room that I'm certainly going to get off. Uh, psychic <laughs> energy bond. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because after trick room, I could just knock out anything. All right. And then lastly, but certainly leastly, I have a physical wall of Umbreon who can take any physical hit. Trust me. Um, <laughs> his nickname is Nightlight because it can make it rings glow. Uh, item is leftover inner focus so we don't get intimidated. Or flinched and foul play for people who want to set up physically on it pursuit if they try to switch Gengar out Hill Bill just in case any of my Pokemon you know have an issue and then wish for a reliable recovery and that's pretty much it for my team Stuart you want to go ahead and go yeah sure thing so when I knew we were doing Gengar I was like I'm definitely not gonna bring Mega Gengar because I feel like most people are gonna bring Mega Gengar so I was like, I'm going to bring my favorite Mega, which is Mega Scissor. And so I started building with Mega Scissor, and then I was like, actually, I should get a Scrappy Mon. So I was like, I'm going to use Mega Low Punny. So I started with Mega Low Punny. Um, it's a male. If he wants to be pink and wear a leotard, he can fucking do it. It's 2021, right? No, yeah. No, no, <laughs> yes. Yes, he can. 2021. No, so, fuck uh, off. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. So, fuck you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> take out return uh, staples um, it gets close combat now so close combat was a no brainer and it also gets triple axle which I preferred over ice punch even though you know oh, it yes. can miss and all that other rubbish so um, it outspeeds Mega Gengar which is a bonus it has Scrappy so it can hit ghost types and it has fake out which is going to be great I'm sure um, and then I decided well I still want to use scissor so I'm going to use choice banded scissor um, Mantis uh, choice Banded, Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Superpower, and Pursuit. Uh, I feel like Pursuit is going to be useful to catch any switching out Psychic types that are going to not expect it after a generation and not be able to use it. No um, shit. No shit. No shit. So that was, I put in a little bit of Special Defense so it can live a few Shadow Balls and stuff if it needs to. Um, about two-thirds HP and then 252 attack. Um, Barney, because he's big and purple, is my Gengar. Um, like I said, I didn't want to use Mega Gengar, so I thought, well, I'm going to chuck the Z-Move on it, Ghost TMZ. Um, I recently watched a video with old Pokeaim MD and, and Blunder. They used the Pain Split Gengar. I loved it. It was great. So I um, basically did that. Nasty Plot, Pain Split, Sludge Wave, Shadow Ball. Um, it can wreck things if it gets a Nasty Plot off. It can do a um, one big nuke with the Ghost TMZ. And... You know, pain split if it gets a new chip, or if it wants to do some chips. And then I was like, okay, so what's my legend going to be this week? And I was like, well, I'm going to be cliche. I'm going to use Landorus T, uh, and then Jericho always have. He's a defensive yet reasonably fast Landorus, max HP, a little bit of speed, and a little bit of defense. Uh, he's my rocker. Um, U turn for momentum to get out of any tricky Gengar situations. Earthquake to just destroy shit. 
and then Stone Edge, if I see anything I don't like and I just want to throw rocks at it. Um, Hell yeah. Then I was like, I want to bring a water type. Um, every week I think I brought, I brought Slowbro, but I was like, no, I'm going to bring Slow King this week because it's high in special defense. Um, named Codeine because it looks like he's on drugs. He's real derpy. Um, <laughs> Scold, Slack Off, Future Sight, Teleport, Standard, um, OU, sort of Slow King you see around the parts. Um, hopefully it's going to do the job. And then I was like, well, if anyone brings annoying things like Dracovish, then I better have a Ferrothorn just to help me deal with that. Um, so it was Gyroball, <laughs> Spikes, Leech, these, and Knock Off. I contemplated, oh, the, I contemplated bringing Rocky Helmet on Ferrothorn and Landorus, but I decided to bring Leftovers on Ferrothorn. And it was Mixed Defense, 100 Defense, 156 Special Defense, Calm Nature, oh, Sassy Nature, sorry, 252 HP. And that was my squad, and I'm hoping it's going to do well because I'm sick of losing in the final. <laughs> hey, man, you just got to make your peace with it. This is well, what you got to yeah, do. I'll, I'll, I try. <laughs> that. Sometimes. That's why I put so, some cliche rubbish, but hopefully this cliche rubbish wins it for me finally. So, Jesse, do you actually like let everyone fucking talk for a change? Um, who do you think yeah. win it all? Um... I honestly think it should be a close competition. Um, all these teams sound like they were well thought out and put in a lot of work into the uh, construction of it. Um, I didn't I, do that. I didn't do that. Like it's <laughs> I didn't have time. I was. I had no time, Jesse. Stop lying. Oh, cut that out, Joe. Oh, um, so anyway, <laughs> like you said, um, all the teams are pretty good. Um, I would say probably... I don't know who would win. I kind of like Seward's team, though. It's a lot of thought. He thought of ways to maybe hinder the Gengar a little bit, so I don't know if you guys thought that, but that sounds like uh, it could be a problem. Oh, I certainly didn't. That's daddy shit. That ain't little nephew I shit. Like, I got two Pokemon <laughs> Fuck the Gengar. GG. <laughs> GG. 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 All right, guys. Well, now we're going to go ahead and put these teams to the test and move on to the battle portion. All right, and now we are here for the battles since Morgan's a bitch. Great. Oh, you a straight Great. Bitch. No, you're a bitch, motherfucker. I, you look like you're about four feet tall in your pictures. I'll beat the <laughs> shit out of you, Joe. <laughs> I'm four foot one. I don't like the so team. I don't like the team. You're fired. You're fired. You said I don't like the team. <laughs> Why don't you like the team? Because, oh. Well, okay, so we got Bro Punny leading off versus uh, 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 Terrakin. Oh, I like that nickname. Terrakin. Pterodactyl versus Not good with that. Not good with that. Terrakin goes back for Vaporeon, and Lil Punny uses a fake out. It's Terrakion. Don't oh, don't mess up my flow, man. Yeah, dude, he's doing great. You gotta tell people our nicknames though, because my Vaporeon's <laughs> name is Rob. Uh, yes, it is. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's such a good name. Okay, Stu Dog brings in the Slow King and Wap use protect for some reason. I don't know why. I guess whatever. <laughs> <laughs> So bro, the slow king is called Codeine. Morgan's lead. <laughs> Morgan's lead's this... name is actually teriyaki sauce. Sorry. No, it isn't. It's it's a biggin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bind with the apostrophe oh, at the end. I was making Sorry. I was making a joke about Terrakion. Okay, it's so Vaporeon goes out and Greninja's in feeling froggy. And Codeine used a future side attack. Do you have bounce on that? No. Because if he did, that'd be funny as hell. Feeling froggy and jump would bounce. <laughs> <laughs> that would've been funny. <laughs> Damn it. That was good. Oh, memes, memes oh man. If he gets to the next round, we know what he's using. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're waiting for them to Jesse's decide got on their I pressed it. I pressed my move. Jesse's got a good announcer's voice. I like it. Oh, we got a protein not. dark yeah, pulse on Odin, and it flinched. Oh, God, you flinched me. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is interesting. That's just rough, you know? That's unfair. You never <laughs> know what's going to happen in a Pokemon it's battle. Unfair. 
Oh, he brings in Spike, his Ferrothorn, who takes a Dark Pulse. Phil and Froggy is unfortunately Dark type through Protein, so did not take any damage from the Future Side attack. So we got Stuart, who has a Ferrothorn, Slow King, Landris, Mega Lopunny, Scizor, and Gang. Oh wait, did I just surf? Fuck, he, that's not he what did I meant to surf. do. He did surf on a Ferrothorn, and Ferrothorn hey, knocked off. Hey, that's motherfucker! Off. That's Pro Plays. He was expecting a Landris switch. He knocked off Protein's. Uh, I mean, uh, your Ninja's leftovers. Focus Sash. Yeah, Focus Sash. Uh, oh, I, I, I thought it's leftovers. My bad. Oh, oh I thought it was No, no, no. Marathon is leftovers. I'm sorry. I swear I don't drink. <laughs> okay, he takes out and brings out Blaziken, his dick and chicken. And Marathon <laughs> comes out for Cody. Fuck, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Imagine if a Pokemon was actually nicknamed that. <laughs> it is. What are you talking about? Dick and chicken. I have a dick and chicken. It's crazy. Oh, Morgan is running a Gengar, a Blaziken. Is it going to be Mega? I don't know yet. So, Vaporeon, Terrakin, mm -hmm. Greninja, and Garchomp. So, so y'all know I'm opening up uh, my uh, my barbecue mm. company called Joe's Pits. Dick and chicken is actually one of my plates served with sausage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he switches out to Greninja, and Slow King uses Teleport. I know what the chicken part is. What's going to be the dickin part? The and he brings in <laughs> Mega Low Punny. It's Italian hot mm. sausage, by the way. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That, dude, that sounds pretty good. <clears throat> That's a that sounds fucking game. amazing. Oh, my God. Should just name your company mm. Dick and Chicken. <laughs> just, just sell sausage. And That's a horrible sausage. idea. That's fucking great. Oh, and he brings in Gengar. Oh, but fuck, fuck, fuck. That, that was bad play. Mega yeah. Little Pony has Scrappy, <laughs> so he takes about almost half his damage. Hey, Justin's not that was a bad play. play. Poison Puss, his Gengar. Oh, is it going to be Mega Gengar? Ooh. The star of the episode. So, Sue Dog looks to have a more defensive core, while Morgan has more of an offensive core. So, it's basically... Offense versus defense. I'm trying to find my goddamn computer charger while I'm doing this. And, <laughs> and the Gengar is a shit's mega, oh, and it goes no. down to a return. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, I know I'm bringing this back up, but can you imagine a company that's called Dick and Chicken? What is it? Their mascot just has a chicken with a dildo strap on? Where the yeah, fuck I'm, I'm sure <laughs> like, when they went to apply for that business patent, they just looked at him and said, Really? <laughs> <laughs> Uh. And Jordan, Jordan you brings don't up Ray Porion is wow. You're a pussy. My my company is family friendly. <laughs> Get your mouth and full of Brings out Floki to take a scald from Vaporeon, which does little to nothing. Uh, I think y'all missed what I said. I did. I've been trying to find my computer charger. I said, get your mouth full of cock at dick and chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you literally just came up with the greatest thing. Bro. And he brings out his Greninja, and Slow King uses a future side attack. Ooh, and Greninja uses a grass knot, which takes it down to about half. And he I'm uses not very heavy, so that doesn't really matter. And he brings out his megalopunny again, the bro punny. Bro punny. Who's gonna eat a fake out? Yeah, who's, who's gonna eat it? a fake out? <laughs> Put in Vaporeon! I'm not coaching. <laughs> I already did. I get some. Morgan's already got his back to the wall. He's down one mon already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Granted, we're, we're in 10, 14 turns. And he brings in Vaporeon. Oh, he goes with a return, and he takes a future sight. He's already Ugh, down perfect. to a third of his health. Oh, the perfect. predictions. Damn, Stu Dog hitting that walk pretty far. That was actually a Willie plan. I kind of saw that, and I'm like, I wonder how he's going to do that. Bro like, Pony is pounding my WAP. <laughs> <laughs> bro Pony. I'm very glad that you made your Bro Pony a male, because it would have been really weird if it was female. Dude. And he uses a return, and Vaporeon's out. You should have had uh, all-out pumbling, so you could have all-out pumbled his WAP. <laughs> <laughs> My metapod. 
Wait, what's the single one? Just what use all bug Harden? types with Harden. I made a part and Harden. Brings... Oh, and talking about that, he brings out Dick and Chicken his blaze again. Beautiful Pokemon. I love Beautiful. That, that name has given more to the Pokemon community than a <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mention Dick and Chicken. <laughs> Terrakin is a biggin. <laughs> <laughs> It's a big one. Are we big <laughs> All right, and he brings out. Uh, Stewart brings out his land nice. key. He hit that the high nice jump. Kick. Up a high jump kick. Jericho mm. is his landris, and we'll see what happens next. It looks like landris is about. Oh, and he oh. Gets, he can misses a stone edge and eats an earthquake and is down. Morgan. Morgan is down. Hey, He's David. down three already, and it's time for a biggin. It's time for Terrigan. I'm gonna throw our battle. I do not want to face Stu Dog right now. <laughs> oh what? <laughs> Yo, do you really have to throw it? Do you just? I'm you not could just play this normal. Week, you know? Not exactly right. Fuck. Joe's just trying to find excuses for why he lost before we. Hey, hey, hey! I can't Dynamax, can I? No. <laughs> Why? No, okay, okay. You can't make your biggin even bigger. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and he brings in Slow King for his Terry against He's Terry, talking... and he eats up a Stone Edge. It means his dangling. He's talking about his dangling. That's fine. It... <laughs> and he brings should, out Landers again to get that attack Ooh. debuff, and Terry can God damn it. Stone Edge. Bro, this regenerator uh, core is eating you up. I know. I'm ju I'm stuck in Stone and Edge though, and I keep missing. Ninja, and he eats an earthquake, and it's not looking good. <laughs> oh, and we got Garchomp. You got some smack. He does. <laughs> <laughs> that means oh, crack. What is he gonna smack? Yeah, last crack. Episode, it means so crack. It. If anyone missed last episode. We already determined that Morgan smokes crack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've the never smoked crack, crack, dude. I've never smoked crack. Oh, and he does <laughs> an outrage. Takes Landris to about a quarter. He's down to 50%, but he uses a U turn. You didn't use Hang on. Dance on Guys, time out, time out, time out. Listen, listen, listen. I don't smoke crack. Work, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't smoke crack. You sniff it? No, I don't. Can you sniff crack? Can you even snort crack? I don't even think you can. I appreciate I mean, you to smoke crack. Possible if you, you know, you can it pound it. Hey. Yeah, you can pound it. How much? This is what Stuart. How much crack, crack do you do? Acting like you don't know how to do that. He's like, can you? Can you actually? <laughs> <laughs> can you I do not do oh, crack. And he brings out little honey from the U-turn. I do not do crack. <laughs> I've never even seen crack. He's got, he's got, he's got he does some damage to it. Uh, he lost his whole accent and everything. I, I do not I'm do crack. I've never <laughs> been there for seeing crack. Just remember, kids, don't do drugs. The only Except for marijuana. Do Ooh, crack. and Bro Punny does the triple axle, and that's going to knock oh. out your jump. Big nuts play. Right now it's down six to one, and Stewart hasn't even brought out his Gengar. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what his nickname is. We'll have to wait and find out. <laughs> and Eric is his yeah, last yeah. Pokemon. Oh, and he brings <sighs> out Spike his Ferrothorn, and oh, we got a close combat. He's he not gonna get six no oh. one six O's. It was, it was, it was worth. It was worth not the sick though to like guarantee the win, you know. Bro, you should have put in Gengar. What are you doing? Well, he could have Stone Edge, so Stone Edge would have one hit game. Stone Edge has missed fucking three times in a row. Yeah, <laughs> so it's gonna hit the rest of the time. No. Okay, Bro Buddy gives a fake out to Terrakin. Terrakin is about at seventy percent. Was he? Was he scuffed? I can't remember. Yeah, he's scarfed. Yeah, oh, and he's good. got another close combat, and Slow King comes in to eat that. He's Just at keep about hitting him. Order. Just keep hitting him. He's going to switch in Gengar. Oh, eventually. we got Gengar. We got he's Barney. Here. The big purple dinosaur. <laughs> so who's the ghost. <laughs> and it's game. It's game. Unfortunately, Terrakin is scarfed. So 
Oh, we got the never-ending nightmare to end Oh, it. I forgot we could do Z moves. Shit. Oh, and there shit, we go. Stuart wins this right match now. 5-0. Who is your winner? Good game, Stuart. You too, man. <laughs> I was scared of, scared of your team, but I destroyed the Gengar, which is what matters, you know? Yeah. Alright, well, I guess it's now up to me and David, so... I'm sending Let's it now. Let's fucking go. I got you already. I already have a setup. Okay, well, fuck you too, man. I'm excited for it. Okay, let's see. Uh, God damn, why am I... I'm not excited for it. I just slapped this team together. <laughs> so did I, at the same time as you. I know. Yeah, five minutes ago. <clears throat> but I have some badass nicknames, so... <laughs> That's all my that matters, really. My nicknames are definitely better. No, Dick and Chicken's winner of this round. Well, you haven't seen yeah. my nicknames yet. Give me a chance. Dick and Chicken is is solid. I don't feel like you're gonna beat Dick and Chicken. I feel like you can. Are you guys in a room yet? I mean, uh, if he sent it already, he said he. Was I did. No, you didn't. Oh, I sent it to Zamora Gaming. Yeah, that's who you're supposed to send it to. That's who I sent it to, bro. <laughs> I don't get no, no, you're Gabe. You're Gabe right now, aren't you? Oh no. What the fuck? No, that's not him. Good lord. <laughs> Oh, oh, really gay butthole's gone. I just noticed that. I did actually send it to you, Zamora. I sent it again. It's supposed to be uh, anything, National Dex, anything goes. That's what I sent. Oh, it didn't show up as that. Bro, I will send you a screenshot of it. it there we go. Like that for me. There we go. Now we're going. Okay, oh, so I like I'm going to announce the teams real quick before you guys start. Zamora Gaming. Who's Joe? Has Gengar, Chance, Chancy, Grimmsnarl, yeah. uh, oh, Cinderace, yeah. Reniculus, and Umbreon. That is a pretty pinky, Dusty. annoying core. Meanwhile, I don't know. Dusty was here. Oh, <laughs> Dusty's here. No. He's just... well. Chancy's his favorite, isn't it? Oh, I thought Dusty was in here. Had me excited mm -hmm. for a second. Meanwhile, David GS this Kamikaze has Gengar, Cortana. Tyranitar and DD that's a DD female, right? Oh shit, let me turn that. Or is that male? Yeah. I can't tell, and it won't tell me. Uh, he's got Halucha and Dracovich. And here we go. We got T Tar for for David. Tar's got bars, and we got Powerhouse, which is ridiculous for Joe. And, and you know it's it's a scar, uh, Dracovich. Is it? It is. I already know. Sandrush, wasn't it? Sandrush Trekabish? Oh, maybe it is. Oh, mm -hmm. Joe, did you already forget about the hidden abilities? Yes, sir. Oh, man. And this is, uh, it was and he Mr. brings out his Umbreon sure. instead of Reniculus, his Nightlight, and Titar sets some stones. It looks like Joe's about to get stoned. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, and Indeedy comes in, whose name is Indubitably. And Umbreon uses Wish, because I'm sure it's going to get hit real hard, and it's going to need that Wish to heal it. That reminds me of Homer Simpson. Indubitably. Oh, and he brings out Halucha, his RKO, and with the Psychic Terrain, he gets a special defense boost from his seed. And Joe brings out oh. Grimmsnarl, Rolly Trolly Oli. Oh yeah, the seed. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Rolly Trolly Oli. Uh, I ate the Rolly seed. Trolly -Oli. I like RKO for Halucha. That's a solid nickname. Ooh, oh, this is, yeah, this is oh, and Joe brings in Purple Nurple, his Gengar, while RKO uses Sword Dance. Interesting. Purple Nurple. <laughs> I like that, that nickname. That's a good nickname for a Gengar. Oh, and Mega Gengar and Mega evolves and eats and acrobatics. It's down. Gengar's done nothing yet. That's too and young. Gengar the Nightlight. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and say this, guys. Gengar is not doing really good. Oh, and Drain Punch takes a lot out of Umbreon, but it returns with a foul play, which takes down Halucha to half. And a Drain Punch, KZO, Nightlight, and Joe's down two, uh, two Pokemon. And in comes Powerhouse, the Reniculus. Can it survive an attack? The answer is no. Oh, 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 oh my god. Like a sweep. 
Yeah, that's Can over. Can Joe turn this around? Hell no. Come on, Joe. <laughs> Take that Grim style. <laughs> In comes Rolly Charlie Oli, the Grim Snarl. Uh oh. Oh, it has a sucker punch. Oh. It's down to 15, but that's not enough. Oh, he's oh, a He survives a, a drain punch from RKO, but it's at 61% and will easily defeat Grim's Oh, God. That's nasty. To two. You have and to send in the filthy. Ginga. You have to send in your Ginga. That's the rule. No, it's not the rule. Oh, send it here in. comes in Cinderace, who framed me. <laughs> well, Arkham, I have a feeling that it's going to be Luka. That's a solid fucking nickname, too. Who framed me? And it gets knocked out by an acrobatics. God damn. And finally, chance he comes out, that pink thing. Like oh, a like a out dick. Gengar. There we go. He brings out Gengar and go. LFAO. Or as the kids say, laugh my freaking ass off. <laughs> <laughs> Gengar uses substitute, and the chance he brings out stealth rocks. <laughs> It tried a toxic but couldn't do it. Oh, uh, we got a disable from the Gengar to Pink Thing. Oh, and we got oh, 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 oh. Oh, This is over in three turns no matter what. This is some dirty tactics. And he <laughs> mega ball for this is What filthy. is this? Fuck that. Fuck that Gengar. Fuck that Gengar. That is filthy as fuck. That is so okay. good. I was going to bring that too. And this is pretty much over. Perry's song with nothing to go into. I reckon David's probably going to switch into something else while Pink Thing yeah. dies. Hey, hey, come oh, and he I'm brings joking. out Dracovich, which is called Drake Cody. Drake Cody. Drake Cody. <laughs> and David. Oh, God Wait, damn. Oh, the Dinsdrift. The disrespect. <laughs> Sounds about right. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> fucking David, that was ruthless, dude. That was a fucking nasty... Ugh. Ugh. I resigned. I I Bro, I've been talking shit to Joe this whole time. This whole time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was nasty. Okay, play the, play the last match. Let's get this over with. Okay, so it's we fucking... got... <laughs> David versus Stewart. <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> Joe is pissed. Salty. Salty. It's just what I've been talking about. I see it coming and I still let it happen. So it's just like, eh. It's like, I, I don't change. He is oh upset. God damn it. David, I told you not to do it that way. I told you not to do it that bad on him. He did it raw. Raw. You can at least kiss him first next time. That's it. Get, ladies and gentlemen, you can go ahead and consider this the last episode of this podcast because Joe is pissed. Joe, Joe is pissed. Joe, what did you have on Grim Snarl? Uh, I had a bulk up, sucker punch, uh, boss, something. And oh my god. You Wait. already know it's, it, it happened in the pre. In the Was it a prankster? <laughs> was it prankster? Yeah, it was prankster. Why the fuck did you have Thunder Wave on it? Because I, I was going to use it as a bulky physical sweeper. Are you shooting the challenge? Or am I? David, send the challenge to Stu. Stu.101. Right, you also close the three other tabs you're in. The battles are over. Listen, Joe. Joe, yeah. please don't end the podcast over this loss, though. Uh, why? Why would I? No, Joe's actually I'm just okay. making sure. I'm just making sure you're okay. I can hear the... I know you was upset. I'm Joe's he won the whole thing week one, it's fine. He won the whole thing and then I got to choose Charizard. I'm happy. <laughs> okay. Let's let's carry right. on now. Alright, All right. I'm getting it. I'm sending it right now. Alrighty. Like I said, I slapped this thing together, <laughs> so I just like... Oh my god, I'm sorry. You can't be saying that when we get Steven on here. Uh, Is Steven coming on? Yeah, in two weeks uh, we will have a special guest and we will be talking about a specific Pokemon that I'll let everyone know when it happens. Steven Redden? Yeah. Okay, yep. Is it still going to be a uh, Gen 1 Pokemon? Yes. Is he going to stay up till fucking 2 in the morning to do it? or What time will it be? I mean, it, Like right now it's 5 a.m. for him. <laughs> Ooh, rough, rough. Hey, he asked me if he could come on the podcast. I said yes. That's... 
That's awesome. I bet he has a sick accent too. I like. Oh, he does. I like his voice is like fighter. Okay, so here we go. David starts off with a doubly his in the indubi- indubi- and we get to see Mantis <laughs> New York Scissor. We didn't get to see that last match, and with Psychic Terrain, that might hinder him a little bit. Oh, I just don't want to get Missy Terrain and I'm um, mystical fired. You know, I just don't want that to happen to me. I don't. I don't deserve it. <laughs> I don't oh, deserve it. <laughs> His bloking, which takes an expanding force. No one giggled at that, okay. An expanding force. Why didn't you use the expanding force on Joe, huh? That means penis. Did. Because he's, <laughs> he's a bitch. I so. got, oh. No, there we go. There's the saltiness. <laughs> there we go. His force can't expand. Oh, because and he brings in Tyranitar. And Tar's got Mars. And Slow King uses teleport. I'm not gonna lie, I hate Slow King teleport. It's just I'm seeing it so much now. At. Yeah, is it is it Xanax bars or is it rat bars? <laughs> Tar is not bars. <laughs> context is important. Is Maybe it's context is important. Oh, it's and he you. brings in Bro Pony. <laughs> that thing did damage against Morgan last match. What will it, it do? Ate my ass. Bar? Blow Pony's thick though. Oh, and he brings out Halucha. She is. Or he is. Oh, shit. And he uses fake out, which takes out a quarter of Halucha's health. What? Oh, I'm flying type. Wow, I could have just destroyed you just now. What? What are you talking about? He I, forgot. If I would have in, he wouldn't have been able to fake out in the psychic terrain. Yep, yeah, but since Halucha is flying, it hits. Oh, interesting. Halucha uses a sword stance, but he gets oh, caught. Oh, no. Oh. Go, Stuart. You thought I would switch. Oh, uh, why would you think he would? Not after, not, not after the last match. I'm sitting. I'm gonna sit in here against that. I'm not oh, and he brings out Indeedy against Bro Punny. Now is it Scarf Indeedy? Are we just gonna do anything else? That reckon? Are you calculating? Mm. No, I'm He's deciding really. <laughs> Did you hear it clicking? <laughs> click, 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 click. Oh, he said no. Scissor, who takes Maybe a I nice am. chunk of damage from an expanding force. Psychic Terrain is down, but Sandstorm is still up from T-Tar. Oh, and we got a Pursuit! Oh, oh fuck. 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 out in BD. Stuart came to play. It's the price to pay. Time for you to get down on your knees. That was a dope move. Oh, god damn, that was mean. No, that was mean. Draco, bitch, Draco die. With Sandstorm still up for three more turns. <laughs> more like Draco, oh. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and he brings Just... out Carathorn, and it eats a fish. A vicious rend takes it down to about two, two thirds of its health. Joe's standing behind Stuart now, like, yeah, fuck you, David. Oh, fuck yeah, you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> he's okay, gonna, he my dad's going to kick your ass. Gyro Ball does a huge yeah, amount right. of damage to it. He's down to about a quarter, but it's disabled through its cursed body. Damn it, disabled motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Shit, you Damn it. Disabled motherfucker. Stuart's out for blood. We are not talking about the handicapped people of the United States. Dude, I'm so excited to get Steven on here. We're going to have two sexy-ass accents on one episode. Oh, trust me. Steven's accent is like freaking... Yeah. Well, my oh, buddy Stuart Nego, here... Oh, Gengar, and he uses Protect. Ooh, interesting. And he tries a knockoff, and it doesn't work. He ain't letting that substitute happen. And he brings out Cartana, and it gets knocked off. Oh, 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 he just gave away some crucial information with that knockoff. Nothing came off. He's going he's gonna, to, what's he going to use? Fighting MZ. Fighting MZ? Ooh, there's only one way to find out. Stay in and see. No, I'm just kidding. And he brings out Lando T. Jericho. That's a safe play. And Cartana uses Sacred Sword, which takes out only a tenth of the health. You know, and he gets apply. hurt more, almost more, by the Rocky Helmet than he does. Yeah, I gotta apply oh, that no. Rocky Helmet item. 
Yeah, that's pretty some pretty neat tech. Cartana is paper. He is paper cut, and he brings out T-Tar. You gotta yell cut. Cut. <laughs> paper <laughs> uses cut. a U-turn. And in comes Megalopunny. Oh, pro place. Man, David sure ain't talking no shit right now. Hey, I'm doing what hey. I can do, what I can do. Dude, that's because he's focusing on trying to figure out <laughs> something. <laughs> Fucking Joe from behind Stuart, like, you ain't talking oh, shit Oh, and now. he stays in on a close combat, and Titar is down. My friend Stuart's gonna kick your ass. Respect <laughs> <laughs> my authority. And he brings in Dracovich, and Dracovich pull back the match for him. In comes Ferrothorn, and it eats a Ficious Wren. It takes it down to about 43%. And he does another uh, Ficious Wren. It's almost dead. Gyro Ball takes it down to 40% from Ferrothorn. I didn't know the guy from uh, Wipeout was on SNL. From where? From Wipeout. He's on Wipeout. Huh. Huh. Must wow. Because they used to have ESPN announcers on there. And Dracovich gets the vicious rend on Ferrothorn. David's not getting 6 0 in this match. Hey, Yay! No. In comes Lopunny. I have My a friend hunch David on what he might do. Never get 6 0 I got your back, David. Oh, use the Fuck you, Joe. Guy. You Fuck you, Joe. You know, just fuck you. And it lives. It's got six percent health. <laughs> but in comes Slow King to eat a vicious wren, which does over half the damage. It's down to a third. It will have to switch if it doesn't want to die. <laughs> Thanks for that observation. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen in a Pokemon battle. <laughs> so, David, what do you think Stewart's gonna choose for next week? Uh, I don't know yet. We'll see. Oh, and yet. he takes uh -oh. it. Uh oh. Uh oh. I predict. I'm not gonna do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and in comes Mega Lopunny. I'm gonna laugh if it's still scarred. And Draco dies. Wouldn't that be some shit if it was Sandrush Scarf? I I could. You'd see that. How fast is Katana? Do you know? Um, it says it um, has a speed between 200 and 348. Oh. I mean, if you're max speed, you're faster. <clears throat> Guess we'll find out. <laughs> oh, and he switches in Scizor, and he uses uh -oh. his speed power, of course, uh -oh. to crash. Oh, I didn't oh, get it. Oh, and almost K's. Oh, um, he's at 8% Scizor is. And, and then comes a little name. bullet punch, and Sacred Sword finishes off Scissor. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Zemo, if I knew that, you were the Zemo. When comes Dude. Michael Bunny. He might got you. Oh, he uses a fake out, takes 11% of his health. It's not enough to finish him. Dude, uh, but a close master. combat does. And down goes Kartana. All that's left is that jank Gengar. God damn, dude, I didn't realize how fast... I mean, I guess I just don't remember how fast Lopunny is. Oh, it's fast. And it uses a return, Lopunny's and not... that's it. Stuart wins the battle 3-0. Fuck yeah, yeah Stuart, I good won game. One. Probably 1-1, one, one. yes. Good game, <laughs> Stu. All right, now, Thanks, pick, man. now pick Ditto or something stupid. Right, Stuart, what do you want to use <laughs> for next week? Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> I actually thought about it because I didn't think I was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> I've made the final three times and I haven't won, so I, I didn't think I was going to win. <laughs> do a good one. Do something good. Um, I want to do... Um, Arcanine. Yes! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Saying, cool. I was going to suggest that. Cool. Arcanine himself. Oh, well, I'm definitely going to have to battle next week. Well.
Stuart is our Gengar champion, and we will tune in next week with Arcanine as the person we have main on our team. What was on your Gengar? What was your moveset? Mine? Yeah. I don't think we uh, really Nazi, saw it. We've already talked Nazi about part. that.